<laughs> get get down. You like our Stephen you. I'll do. I'll do. Worst days of prison officer, you can't do worst day. A really bad day for me I'm gonna talk about now. So I lost my mum uh when I was twenty. It took me a long time to get over it. I've even put myself in therapy now and I'm going back and looking at that time and earlier. There you go. I'm in the private sector. We had a young lad, Mr. Jones, on our wing. He lost his dad, tragically. He's around the same age. So I was understanding where he was coming from. He's in prison. So he got to go ahead to go to the funeral. He had a brother at Strange Ways where I would later work. So the plan was three staff from Forest Bank Prison. We go to Strange Ways, pick up a member of staff and his brother and take him to a funeral. I'd never been on a funeral escort. I weren't or didn't know what to expect. Um, on reflection now, it was terrifying. It was terrifying, but I'm with a young man. I'm cuffed to a young man, double cuffed. His wrists are cuffed in front of him, and then I'm cuffed next to him. We're going to a funeral. We arrived in a minibus. Oh, firstly, strange ways. This is a, <laughs> this is a funny tale. We entered with one prisoner, left with two. The strange ways staff weren't on the ball gate staff or whatever. They had two of their prisoners leaving. So while we're at the funeral, they couldn't get their role correct. And they won't, would they? Because we'd only taken one, but they got it down as two. Anyway, we arrived at the cemetery. Still don't know which one it was. I don't think it was Agecroft Road. However, events uh, working out how they did, uh, who knows? Who knows? We're on a minibus. As a minibus pulled up, a crowd of lads got on, young lads, teenagers. We got the Jones brothers, the shaking hands with them, how you doing, hugging them and the like. It was extremely uncomfortable. At that point, me, if I could, had a run. Yeah, arse is going. Then we goes in the chapel arrest. Like I say, you know, you've got this lad's family here. His mum. So obviously they're all hugging him. You are as close as you can be. It's like they were hugging you deeply sad time very very uncomfortable funerals aren't the best places are they this lad you know i can't imagine i can't imagine because he's going to be going back to prison and i understand that you know i'm not without feelings or empathy so the service it's gone or it's done with yeah i'm thinking we're getting back on our van minibus and going back to the prison we did get back on a minibus, which was waiting outside. There was two staff I'd come with on that minibus and a driver. Yeah, not the best staff. One was a big fat-headed bully. In fact, the other, the other one was all right. It was, it was a decent member of staff. However, you know, they hadn't been in the church. The, the lad from Strangeways, the prison officer, I've got to say throughout was white he was not comfortable they looked very uncomfortable and so was i i might have been white as well but we were informed we were going to the graveside so we parked the van there was a road as there is in cemeteries and we walked to the graveside just the strange ways prison officer and me with the two jones brothers if i thought i'd been scared before i had no idea just how frightening it was going to be. At the graveside, we were surrounded. There were some big guys there, very intimidating. Lots of tears, like you'd expect. What I would describe as gangsters in crombies, wrapped round shades. Now, the other brother, the elder brother, who was doing a bigger sentence at Strange Ways, is giving the young lad I'm cuffed to, the nod. There were items at that graveside. It is a blur. Maybe bolt croppers, maybe weapons, who knows. 
who knows but the eye contact that we're going on as well as everything else uncomfortable doesn't even come close it doesn't the other brother were for getting off i believe the people that were there they were people that were going to facilitate both brothers escaping very very few words the jones brothers man bless her um looking back now i believe knew what possibly was going to happen and was saying no the young lad i was cuffed to knew what potentially was going to happen and he was saying no the other brother he was up for it game on let's get out of here absolutely terrifying i don't know how long we stood there um i can't remember the lowering of the coffin i can't remember the religious person vicar priest or whoever saying anything i just remember with the strange ways officer and the two brothers walking back to the van with our backs to the graveside when i got on the van i was pissed the three staff that came with us were nowhere near the free staff were nowhere near nowhere near yeah they were chatting and talking reading the newspaper it weren't them at the graveside weren't them that were at risk yeah couldn't say anything we got two lads on obviously deeply upset just buried the dad i held it in till we got back to forest bank once i'd taken the lad back to the wing I let rip me, I let my feelings be known. I was privileged in my career, I said privileged, to go on for funeral escorts. All very different. If you'd like to hear about the other three, I would be happy to relate. Uh, two of them equally as scary, one just beyond upsetting, beyond upsetting. Um, you know, it's not a proud thing as a prison officer, but it's something I experience. People will never experience it. You know, the critics of my first book, which always amuses me, he saw more in one day than I did in 30 years. I met officers like you, you know, run to the toilets when alarm bells go off. Maybe are okay kicking someone in the head when there's only one prisoner there and loads of staff or generally not giving a fuck and doing anything. You know, I went on that, I was asked to go on it, I did it. The other three, I was sent on them. If I had a choice, I would have never attended any of them. I'm just gonna leave it there, guys. Back to our Brian. Thanks, sit down, kid. Thanks, sit down, sit. Thanks for your continued support. God bless you all. We need, need to stick together. God bless Donald Trump. I'll see you there.